Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 181, and it's Corvette time. Specifically the, uh, the, the Z06, the C5 Z06. This is the car I'm choosing for this segment, so, uh, yeah, going from the C4 to the C5, and probably the next time I drive a Corvette it'll be the C6, because I'm gay. I don't know, but, uh, let's just upgrade this bitch. to S-Class and then do the old ritual of downgrading it just a skosh off the top of S-Class because <laughs> uh, I don't know because I'm a dumbass and I don't want to win by a lot so let's just bring this down to 681 that'll work 561 horsepower etc etc I don't think the tires were upgraded much on this thing, so that's going to be fun to deal with. But uh, let us go to our next event, which is the Chevy Production Showcase. So, it, it's a bunch of Chevys, mostly Corvettes. We, we got a Camaro and a Cobalt in here, but it's mostly Corvettes. So, hooray! Got our four races here, and let's start at the Typhoon Lagoon. Alright, let's do this shit. Around Lagoon Seca, see how this goes. If I see how this goes, I mean, hopefully win. I should be able to win. Oh god, got a member. Grip is gonna be a thing. I'm probably gonna struggle with here. Also, I don't know why, but C5 looks kind of weird from this camera angle. I can't really describe like in what way, but it just does. But only from this, like, camera angle. I don't know. It's weird. Weird, weird, weird. Anyways, up to the podium. Okay, someone tells me I'm not going to be using second gear much in this car. And that's pretty much why, right there, wheel spin. Also, these C6s are, uh... Pulling away here. To Davidson Taylor. I need to do something about that. Okay, luckily, I should have the advantage down the hill here, as I usually do. Even with my car being in very, very unstable right now go for the very long dive on Taylor. And it works. Okay, cool. I'm actually really surprised that, that worked. Just gotta catch Davis. Holy shit, in his ER1. While keeping Taylor behind me. I hear him behind me. sure that I'm the lead yellow Corvette. And then soon become the lead Corvette, period. You should share some of that cookies and cream. Whatever. No way, you're having cookie dough ice cream, excuse me. Okay. I can read chat, yes? Still share. Cookie dough ice cream sounds like the tits. Me once, yes. Okay, one second behind Davis. Let's see if I can uh, close all of that here down the hill. I wouldn't be surprised if I did. quite there. I have to go for something crazy here on the last lap. We shall see. Can't throw that far. Try harder. Okay, 
Come on, it's only like across an entire country, you know, no big deal. Just so happens that, you know, the two country, the uh, the country that you've thrown across is very large. Come on, trying to stay close to Davis here. It's uh, a little bit difficult. on the throttle and steering and just everything. Alright, pretty close. Okay, right on his ass heading into the corkscrew, so... I have the opportunity without doing something stupid. Easy around 10, so I wouldn't ram into his ass. And dive up the inside. There we go. That worked out pretty much as planned. And a win. Steal the win on the last turn. Oh, yeah. Nice. And. fucking know. Just waiting on the not fully upgraded uh, cars to, or not top of S-Class cars to finish. I.e. the not Corvettes and also the uh, Grand Sport. Holy shit, Jones. Maybe you shouldn't have upgraded your front-wheel drive uh, car to a fucking S-Class. Dummy. No, Anyways, one down, three to go. Uh... Okay, race two at Sunset Peninsula. Reverse. But we're doing the full board course, so that's cool. Also, Anderson, you've committed a sin to uh, C4 Grand Sports everywhere by painting it not blue. You fuckers. How dare you. Oh well. Hey, I have some fucking straight line speed. I tell you what, the auto upgrade did. He sure did put a lot of fucking power in my car. Even though I took quite a bit out, still have a lot of power. I mean, over, you know, what, 560 some horsepower? Yeah, 560. So, big fast off the line. Basically dealing with the opposite of what I'm, you know, what I'm used to. Here I have a lot of power and not much grip, as opposed to little power and a lot of grip. It's nice to change things up after a while. Even though I do prefer, you know, grippy cars, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of fun challenge to uh, try to control these high power, low grip cars. I say low grip, it, low grip by comparison to what I've been driving. This car still has quite a bit of grip, it's just, you know, also has a lot of power. So like, I gotta be careful with throttle. And yeah, pressure, so I don't spin the shit out of the tires and then spin the shit out of my car. And stuff. Hello, how are you doing, Taylor? Please let me pass you. All this bumping is completely my fault, because I'm not really paying attention and stuff, but hey, whatever. Hey, Chris. Oh, I see Davis looking way low, lower than he should. Oh, that's right, this is only a two-lap race. I should probably get around Taylor. Can't really fuck around. I'm like, oh, I'll get him next lap. No, there is no next lap. Never mind. Nope. Oh, he slams into the wall. Very good, Taylor. GG. If these guys didn't take these chicanes so goddamn slow. Like, if... 
Like, it's a good thing that, like, they take the chicane slow, because that allows me to gain time on them, but it also sucks that they take the chicane so goddamn slow, because there's fucking no way to pass them around the chicane. So basically, in order to make a pass with it through chicane, I kind of just have to sandbag severely the entry to the chicane and hope for the best. It's just ah. Uh. Oh crap! Big slide out of the final turn. There we go. Okay. Luckily, I got the dive on him into the hairpin, so I didn't have to do anything really stupid to win this. Cool. I am nowhere near the end of this game, Chris. I'm not even halfway through it. Like, I'm actually less than 50% done with the event list. Uh... Oh well. But we are halfway through this series. Okay, race number three at Indianapolis Moto Speedway. So we go from a uh, fantasy oval road course combination or speedway with an infield road course I should say to a real life speedway with an infield road course hey all right god damn it I'll never be able to get used to how turn one is here in this game because it's just completely not like the correct line at all like I said, they they made the apex like they judged the apex on the fucking grass and not the actual like line that goes like around that turn. So we're technically just cutting the shit out of the first turn, and it doesn't help that the cones kind of guide you to the grass. So it's just like can't even take it on the line because the cones are there. Looking forward to the Indy 500. Mostly because it's the Indy 500 and also because of Alonzo. Holy fuck, Brown, fuck off my stage. I'm off to a horrible start here. I'm just not doing well at all. Oh, uh, yeah. 500's gonna be fun. Hopefully, Alonzo's engine doesn't explode before, like, the start of the race. Excuse me, Williams. Alright, I have two laps here to hopefully catch and pass Davis and Taylor. I say hopefully, because I don't know how likely it is. Oh, Taylor is going wide. He he overcooked it into turn one. Okay, well I got one of them. Thanks to uh his mistake. I just gotta catch Davis. Had to do a little bit of evasive driving, I think, because of Taylor, so that slowed him down. I got how ugh. I like all this body damage I have, but okay, I do have mechanical damage. Never mind. Twenty-one percent in the front, seven in the sides. I thought I didn't have any, but no, I've been proven wrong. So never mind. Yeah, AI do make mistakes every now and then. It's very rare that they do. I mean, you know, these aren't drive tards. They, you know, these guys aren't just a giant mistake. Excuse me, Davis. Tell you what, the left front of my car is severely just pushed in. It's absolutely destroyed. It's like here, I want to take. Oh god, take the proper line through turn one. But the cones are kind of there. And also, Davis, you know, dove on me. Holy crap, that was a dive. I'm pretty sure if I wasn't there, Davis would have went flying off into the grass like Taylor did last lap. 
I, I kind of saved them there, in a way. Luckily, I still have the lead. And a fuck ton more damage. Holy shit, that's a lot of rear end damage. Uh, gone. Fucking speedway turn's gonna be really interesting with my ass. Definitely gonna be sliding out more than, uh, it has been because of this damage. Careful. Okay, we're good. Took it a little easier on this last turn, but we're good. Plus, I was by myself this time, so I could take a slightly wider line, and therefore safer line. So hey, there we go. And victory's mine. Indianapolis. Hollery. Hollery, hollery, hollery. And then there's Jones. And his Cobalt. Because why not race a Cobalt against a bunch of Corvettes and also a Camaro? Her. Anyways. One race to go. Okay, and our final race takes us to Sonoma for guess what? The NASCAR course. Whoa, what a fucking shock there. Anyways. Three laps around Sonoma. Let's do this. I like the checker pattern on the uh, the gauges on this car. Race car. Can you put a V8 in the Cobalt in this game? Uh, I don't know. You could probably. I'm sure you could like. Fucking put a you know LS in or whatever. So I'm sure it, it probably does have an engine swap option for like a Corvette, in, like an engine in the Corvette or something. I honestly don't remember. Okay, I'm being a little more patient than I have time for on getting around Williams here. I just need to do the deed and move on. Excuse me, sir. I've ran out of patience. I've bent the shit out of my hood, but I don't care. Bent the absolute fuck out of it. Pretty sure that can be classified as a weapon now. Yeah, I might check after this segment. I mean, I'm sure the Cobalt doesn't cost much, so, you know. And I'm not really hurting for money right now, so might as well experiment. Since y'all are so fucking curious. Oh, turn three. Why did I not do my proper dive? Oh, well. Somehow I always forget about the... Okay. Now my hood is, f like... I don't know what the fuck you can call this. Fangs? Just get out of my way, Davis. Let's get out of my way. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? That is not where the track goes. Alright, time for the Battle of the Yellow Boys. Oh, I need to pay attention to the road. Hood is, uh, has the Satan horns. Heavy metal Corvette. Ha ha ha. Hello, how are you doing, Taylor? I'll get you in turn three, okay? How's that sound, buddy? 
I'll just do my shitty turn three dive and we'll make heavy contact and it'll be fun times for all. Or we'll make no contact because I clear you within a fucking femtosecond. And there we go. best for aerodynamics, my hood being like this, but look at all the fucks I give. No dirty air here. Only Corvette Pala. Shouldn't this be at the GP circuit? I mean, it's Turn 10's decision which thing of uh, Sonoma they want to use and for the for the races, you know. So they went with the NASCAR course for every single event here in the North American uh, manufacturer races. Because fucking, who knows. So anyways, I win. Yay. An easy win at Sonoma, what a fucking shock there. <sighs> How far behind is Jones going to be in his cabalt? Very far, half a minute behind me. Good. Alrighty, well, that was that. We have reached level 99. We're almost out of the century. Oh shit. Oh shit. So, uh, with that, there is the Chevy production showcase complete. So, that'll conclude this segment, and with that, stay tuned for more Forza Motorsport 4.